In this screencast, I'll show you how to calculate the values for a pressure volume diagram for a non-associating system using PC Saft. So this worksheet is set up with the, the constants that we need. It also has the parameters for the components of interest. Now, in this case, I'm just going to focus on CO2. So I've set the mole fraction to 1 and zero mole fraction for the other components and then we have the parameters here for CO2 which is taken from the reference shown in the previous videos. We've also got Kij values these have all been set to zero because we're just focusing on one component. If we were looking at a mixture we would need the Kij values. Okay so if we come over here what we've got is the pressure calculated for us using the custom VBA function that I showed you in the previous video. So PC Saft Z, then we put the parameters in that we need, and then this is also multiplied by the Boltzmann constant, the temperature, the rho value, which is the number density of molecules, and then also a conversion factor in order to get us into centimetres cubed per mole. OK, so we can calculate then the pressure in megapascals um, for, for the system uh, based on these different things. So this allows us to then have all the parameters we can for our pressure volume diagram. And so we can go down and calculate it for a whole range of different temperatures and rho values which give us a range of different molar volumes. So here we have the values, and then if we look at the plot, we can see now that we've got these curves that show how the pressure vary with the molar volume of the system. So above the critical point, we just have this behavior here, nothing much interesting happening. Below the critical point, we have this two-phase region and if we take this first blue line here, where this blue line crosses the saturated vapour pressure, that gives us the roots and tells us where the dew point and the bubble point are. So the bubble point is here where this solid blue line crosses the dashed blue line. And you can see that where they cross matches up with the literature values for the bubble point. So it's predicting the liquid behaviour very nicely. If we come across to the other side, where this blue solid line crosses the dashed line over here, that's giving us the dew point, and it's a little bit off, so it's not predicting the vapour behaviour quite as well. Another thing to point out is that this isn't performing very well around the critical point, and that is a known weakness of PC Saft, is that it doesn't perform that well near the critical point. Um, so there's a whole host of other lines here, and you can see where they cross you can see again good performance for the bubble point prediction and again not so good uh, for the dew point though it's not terrible but it's not it's not quite as good as perhaps we might want it to be uh, we've got some of the literature values here that have been plotted in that graph and so overall this has been a video showing how to calculate values for a pressure volume diagram for a non-associating system using PCSAT